Hello people kind. We're back here with the 1980 17-foot off-road, off-grid, and if you need it, bug out bowler. Opened up, ready for camping. Give you a rundown of what we got. See we got the lights on. Got 40 240 water or LEDs on this side, uh, outdoor lights, an amber LED. Put on our stair rail, got our triple steps going up. Double steps are still there, but uh, the triple steps are much better. Got our RV barbecue mounted. Take you into our cooking center. Got the triple burner outfitter stove. Runs two uh, 25,000 BTU burners on the outside, a 10,000 BTU burner on the inside. 10,001 runs the coffee pot just fine. Once the stove's out of the coffee center, you got lots of storage in there for all your cups and stuff, various barbecue supplies and so forth. Got a little add-on table. Put it on the side of the cabinet. Got the top flipped up on the repurposed tree stand. So it helps hold the, the umbrella in there securely and gives you a place to hang stuff off of, I guess. <laughs> Over on this side, got the RV barbecue out of here, so there's still room for uh, storage of various stuff. Got the battery for the front mounted winch in there. Got the steering arm hooked up on the front steering wheel. It's got the switch connected to the winch so you can wheel it around into the campsite however you like. Take it around to this side. Didn't put the canopy out, but uh, got an extra little LED light there for the cooking area. Come around the back. Got the solar panel flipped up in the forward position. So, depending on how you park right, you can track the sun around through during the day. Our solar hot water system. The factory hot water here still works. All the factory appliances still work inside. But, uh, this one doesn't cost anything to run other than a little bit of solar power. We've got our 15 gallon water tank in there. We fill from the stream. It's got double filters on it. Still has the spray wand hooked up and there's enough hose in the spray wand to reach the front of the trailer. Then on the back here we got the, got the ladder for helps putting out the canopy and stuff. On the spare tire there's a underbody tire hoist mount off a Chevy truck. The heart of the uh, solar hot water heater system is the tunnel mounted heat exchangers off a of liquid cooled skidoo. Just paint them black and run the water through them and it gets, gets super hot. <laughs> almost too hot and to do that inside the tank we have a small we have a small circulating pump in there just let it run all day and it does the job almost got it hotter than my shower at home usually in this box we got the pump for the outdoor shower the switches one switch for the uh, circulating pump for the solar heater, the other switch is for the pump on the tank and the third switch is for the actual shower system. Uh, we've got front mounted or rear mounted and front mounted generator hookups. I think that's pretty much a rundown of how we go camping. Off-road, off-grid. Got plenty of ground clearance, sir. Still might flip the axle and... Uh, actually, I want to widen the axle two inches each side and... Uh, throw some better tires on it. It's got 16s, but I like to get a little bigger, a little better. Other than that, we got 
390 watts of solar panel. Got 300 amp hours of battery in the trailer. It's good to go. Don't even really need a generator along the sun shines. But what do you think? I've searched the interweb. I can't find a batter bowler around. Let me know if there is one. In the meantime, in between time, we all have a good day. Happy camping.